Well, this is the big one of the day, box seaters. This is the Group 1 Carlton Draft Railway Stakes, the race we've all been looking forward to. All roads have headed and led us up to the Railway Stakes, and what a field we see. A capacity lineup of 16 and the two emergencies. The barrier draw was conducted on Tuesday at Brecky with the Stars. It's a $1 million race over the famous Ascot Mile. We've got plenty of replays to have a look at. Let's have a look at them first, and then we'll get back with the dynamics of the race. We're going back to breakfast with the stars, and here's Playing God, working with stablemate Bridgestone, Playing God's on the outside. Stephen Parnham just asked him to quicken up a bit as they approach the swing for home. Here under the line in encouraging style. He's drawn the favourable draw in nine. He's likely to come into seven if the emergencies don't gain a run, and certainly Playing God on the strength of his Victorian form. He's had a little freshen up. All reports have suggested that he's really settled back into Western Australia well, and all roads again head to the Group 1 Carlton Draft Railway Stakes for playing God. He's a star horse. He took out the Kingston Town Classic last season. He's now a four-year-old. I thought his performances across there in Victoria were really good. His first up effort behind Latoria was very strong. He then raced in the Underwood behind Lion Tamer. He then stepped up to the Group 1 Turnbull Stakes. December draw was a victorious on that occasion. He then finished sixth behind Descarado in the Caulfield Stakes. And his most recent one was in the WS Cox Plate. That's probably just a little bit strong for him at this stage of his career. As I said, all indications are he's came back to WA. He's ticked all the boxes. I don't think they could have asked for a better barrier, barrier nine or barrier seven after the emergencies come out. I think he's a really, really live chance. Another local hope is Ranger. We're going to roll some tape and have a look at his Lestia Stakes win. That also gets us Waratah Secret, King Cool Cat, Lord's Ransom, Battle Emblem, but all honours were with the winner here, Ranger. Ranger, Grand Nirvana, Waratah Secret go together at the 100, but Ranger, Ranger quickly swept past Grand Nirvana, Waratah Secret. It's Ranger. Ranger races away with a great victory. Well, look, that could not have been more impressive there, Ranger. I'm still of the belief Waratah's secret, who raced outside the speed, he was stalked throughout by Peter Hall aboard Grand Nirvana, and W Pike was able to smoke the pipe out the back aboard Ranger. He had the whip in the left, he gave him one cut with the whip, he exploded. It was an emphatic victory by a horse who wasn't suited at the weights. We all know he's got the ability, he showed his best there with Ranger. Some of the runners behind him, Waratah's secret, well, he finished in third position, he's drawn barrier three. The blinkers come off. Paul Harvey will ride for David Harrison. King Cool Cat was fifth. I didn't mind his effort. He was beaten four and a quarter lengths. Lord's Ransom hit the line strongly, as does Battle Emblem. They're both two horses that are going to be suited, stepping up in distance, uh, following the run in the railway stakes, heading towards the Golden River Development Perth Cup. Let's go back to the uh, track work once again, and this is He's Remarkable in the stables of Roger James. Kieran McAvoy will ride. We're going to go back and have a look at his piece of work. This was on Tuesday. Lance was aboard the travelling foreman for He's Remarkable. Roger James has given a good rap about He's Remarkable since he's arrived. His piece of work was pretty strong. He's a horse that doesn't tend to really exert himself at track work. And as you can see, it was a pretty good piece of work there by He's Remarkable. He's a last start winner in an open handicap at Flemington on Emirates Day. He defeated Error Set. It certainly was a really good performance by He's Remarkable, who has drawn barrier one. He's well suited with the 53. He's a New Zealand horse, one of the first New Zealand horses we've had across here in the railway stakes. And he's certainly going to be a really live chance, is He's Remarkable. The fourth... And last of our replays is Lucky Gray. He's another local hope. He's trained by Gino Paletti. He set the track alike on Tuesday. We're going to go back and have a look at his last start performance. So this was at Ascot. It was in the Asian Bow Stakes. This is the race that qualified him. He settled back on a day when leaders were suited. Lucky Gray, he's a serious contender. He's the second favourite, and here's the reason why. Lucky Gray descended upon Mega Steel, dashes past him. Gray Monarch Tarzi battling away with tranquility, but he has taken the rise of the group company and taken it with both hands. He won brilliantly. Well, look, that could not have been more impressive there, Lucky Gray. It's three weeks between runs heading towards Saturday, but his piece of track work on Tuesday was absolutely phenomenal. That win there, Sean O'Donnell dropped his reins. He had his ears pricked. He was doing it easily. He gets across the ground. He covers a lot of ground. He's got a big stride. And despite drawing wide, I don't think that's the worst barrier for Lucky Gray because he could get in that three-deep moving line. My apologies. And if he gets in that spot, I do believe Lucky Gray 
is going to be extremely hard to beat. We've had a good look at the replays. We haven't talked about a few runners. Avi Ennis is one of those. Mark Webb will train. Craig Williams will take the ride. Avi Ennis last started in the matriarch. She finished fourth behind Vintage. She was beaten just under four lengths on that occasion. Her effort in the Cox Plate, she was beaten 10 lengths. She was safely uh, held on that occasion. Since arriving here, she had a bit of a miss hiccup on the plane, but she's certainly uh, gone forward a long way uh, after being uh, down for the count, it's fair to say, but certainly Avianis has bounced right back to her best form. King Capel, he hasn't been seen since he took out the Kalgoorlie Cup. He did have a trial at Lark Hill on the 14th of November. It was an absolutely astonishing performance by King Capel. The trial was really good. He defeated Test the Angels. He has drawn wide, but he's a horse that gets back. He'll be hitting the line strongly. Mega Steel, Rocky Range, they're two horses that are drawn wide. They will go forward. They'll race up on the pace. They give, um, They ensure that this race is going to be run at a pretty genuine clip. Spacecraft from the David Harrison stable. Well, he hasn't raced since the TA uh, tab.com Group 3 event behind Wurim. He was beaten just over four lengths on that occasion. Certainly from the barrier, he's a horse that gets back. He's WA owned, he's trained in Victoria. He certainly may be one at big odds that you must include in your first fours. West River Kevidon, he took out the RJ Peters Stakes last Saturday, which qualified him for this event. Uh, he defeated Tranquility. Tranquility has drawn the outside. She'll come in a few barriers. She'll jump from 16, whereas West River Kevidon, another on speed type, he's drawn barrier two. He'll ensure that there's a genuine speed in the race. Talking the dynamics, the pace, like I said, I expect a mega steel, rocky range and West River Kevidon, they should all set a pretty genuine clip. I think Waratah's secret from three, Hill Camp just off the pace. He's remarkable with Karen McAvoy aboard. He won't want to get too far out of his ground. And certainly from barrier one, he should utilise that gate. You'd expect horses like Lucky Gray, uh, Playing God, even Avi Yenis and King Coolcat. They're all going to be positioned just off the speed, looking to get in that three deep with uh, cover. If they do, around this cambered bend here at Ascot, they'll certainly give a great kick. It's a wonderful lineup. It's been a wonderful race over the years. I've got to try and put these into some form of order. And my selections, I'm going 11, 3, 10, and 1. I'm going with number 11 here, Lucky Gray. I'm pretty keen about his chances. I loved his piece of track work. I was all over Ranger, I'll be honest, but I've switched. I just think Lucky Gray is the forgotten horse, the barrier. They can win from wide draws. You go back to my lady, Jewel. She won from barrier 16. I just think this horse is going to get that perfect run. Gino Poletti, I spoke with him on Tuesday mornings, and he was full of confidence. He's pretty excited about Saturday, as we all are, and I think Lucky Gray will win. I think three Ranger, he's the obvious danger. He ticks a few boxes. It'll be great to see Bob Peters um, own another railway stakes winner and give W Pike his first victory in the race. And for Grant Williams, well, what a story it would be if he was to take out the Carlton Draft Railway Stakes. For third, I have horse 10, which is King Capel. I think he'll be running on strongly. He too has impressed me. His Kalgoorlie Cup win was phenomenal. I think his trial was good enough for him to be hitting the line strongly. And I can't leave out playing God. He's another one that ticks a few boxes. I expect him to be right in the finish. It's a wonderful race. We can't have them all. 11, 3, 10 and 1 on the Carlton Draft Railway Stakes. It's race 8 at 3.45. <laughs>